Today's tutorial is going to talk about the differences between branded search and non-branded search. And it's important for any tax accounting CPA firm to kind of understand how their brand is shown on the search engines um, and the differences of how people find you. So issue number one is if someone searches for your firm name or they're looking for a specific partner or professional in a firm, what do people see? Now think about this. The first thing someone does when they're referred to you is they're gonna Google your name. And based on what they see there, you know, is your brand uh, well uh, indexed? Is, uh, is there negative information about you? Do they find one star reviews, things like that? Those are things get, that can negatively affect your conversion rates of referrals. And it affects how many people refer you as well. Uh, if a client uh, Googles your name, what do you want them to see? So obviously it's a, it's a key component. So it all starts with your website. Is your website well built? Um, is it well indexed? Is the content um, that you're writing about pertinent to the people searching for you? And here's a, a good example of how a brand that has a good digital reputation is indexed. So if I look for Russ Merrick, um, he controls what people think about him or see about him, right? So when they Google him, his website is owning the top of the search results. As you scroll down, we'll then get into different type of review sites. So this could be Yelp, it could be TaxBuzz. On the right side, this is his Google local, Google business page. It's been changing so much lately. You know, we're not sure exactly what it's called, but these are components that kind of control the brand and the look that people see. So you want to have review sites with positive reviews on page one about you. You want to control the message. You don't want other websites, directory sites being indexed higher than your own uh, website because that reflects poorly on your brand. Basically, then you're allowing these other directories to kind of uh, showcase you versus being showcased with the information that you really want. So there's an example of branded search. Now, if we look at Camarillo Tax Preparation, here's an example of non-branded search. So I'm using keywords that are not a brand. So I'm, I'm looking for a city. I'm looking for keyword terms. Uh, and there's a, definitely a different look here to what you see. So the Google local pack, they call it. Um, this is important that you have a well-indexed site. And you'll see, you know, a Yelp review site. So Mission Oaks has a, a, a good digital reputation. Russ Merrick, uh, one of our clients, does as well. And you'll see as you, you scroll through, you have Yelp, Tax Buzz, and Russ Merrick. So Russ Merrick is the first uh, brand to be indexed on this Google result. So, and I'm talking about brand as in a smaller firm. So if you look at this, uh, Russ Merrick, obviously his website is well optimized. His reviews are showing. So out of the res results here, you have Russ Merrick in the Google local pack, Russ Merrick's tax buzz, Russ Merrick's website. This would probably get a click through, um, but it kind of shows the importance of optimizing your website. I'll give you another example. Um, let's go to another branded search. Here's Jim Batten tax. If you look for Jim Batten, again, what do you want to see? You want to see uh, their, your website. You want to see a good Google local uh, profile. Uh, you want to see review sites. So, you know, here's the five stars. Uh, you hope to have all five stars. So the more you have this well indexed, the better you're doing. This is 85 votes, 85 reviews. This is a very good picture. Now, if we go to the same city and look for uh, north and over taxes. So taxes might be a bad term because a lot of times that gets mixed up with city taxes and things. Uh, but if you look at taxes, Jim Batten's website uh, in the Google local pack, uh, if you scroll down, uh, Jim Batten's website is here. Let's change this to tax preparation, which is probably uh, a better term. And you'll see now Jim Batten's website, Jim Batten's website, P10 directory, tax buzz with his uh, reviews. Um, so again, it is an example of how a non-branded search, if your site is well indexed, how it should show. Uh, and it gives you just a good idea. If you go to his branded search, again, you know, what, what is there? What are people seeing about you? What are they thinking about you? I hope this has helped you understand at least the basics between the two. And when you start working or thinking about your own online reputation and how to build it, uh, there's some definite tricks to the trade to how to get your site well indexed. If you have any questions on this, you can always visit our website at clientwise.com or our marketplace site at taxbuzz.com. Thank you for listening.